Late night hosts are back and they are using all the drama surrounding former President Trump as material. Yep, the first post strike monologues were filled with singers about politics and pop culture. Stephen Colbert is back and right away he addresses America's newest it couple. Oh, hello, C Chum. What's the latest news? <coughs> really? She's dating Travis Kelsey. <coughs> I think this is the one. Then he took aim at former President Trump. It's been a long time since our last Late Show. We looked at the calendar today and check my math on this. I believe we have been off the air for 154 indictments. <laughs> Is that right? Jimmy Kimmel kicked off his show with therapy. The strike, you know, has been going on so long, I just don't know if I'll be back. You'll be back. <laughs> but when? Now, your show starts. Oh, get to the chopper. <laughs> Look, Kimmel was gone so long, his set was taken over by the sport that's sweeping the country, pickleball. Sorry, guys, you can't play here anymore. You got to wrap it up. He also lobbed this one at Trump. Trump is now facing 91 felony counts. 91 felony counts. It's like all of Melania's birthday wishes came true at once. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon had this to say about Trump's New York court appearance. It's like Trump now has resting mugshot face. <laughs> Fallon also got serious following recent reports about toxic working conditions on The Tonight Show. I had a lot of time, five months, yeah. a lot of time to really just sit and think, you know? And uh, I, 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 had, I just finally just took a moment and I, I, I just realized how grateful I am for all of this and for this show. I really love it. All of the late night jokes directed at Trump left him fuming. Now that the strike is over, the talentless, low-rated creeps of late night television are back. I knew there was a reason I didn't want to see it settled. True losers, he posted on Truth Social. But it's the late night comics who, as usual, are getting the last laugh.